Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today we're going to be playing the console. Now this is an RPG, but not your typical RPG, because from what I believe there's no combat in it, it's only dialogue and speech checks. And that's where your RPG elements come in, depending on how you interact with people. Certain skills and abilities will let you either question them, be able to read them differently, and I found the concept really interesting, so that's why we're playing it today. Alright, let's play here. New game. France. Paris. 1972, December. Hey, that's pretty close to the date today. What's the day? <clears throat> it's actually the 10th of day. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. What have these two gotten themselves Stop into? annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. This guy's a mad doctor. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Nope. Get him. Oh, shit. Oh, well done. For God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. Let me see. You know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. <sighs> it's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Can't you be happy for once? I finally... We finally cracked the Von Borchardt case. He was just a middleman. He would have been more useful alive. <sighs> How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. 
You're much more important than you can ever imagine. Right, let's go now. So what I've heard as well, your actions really do affect the entire game. So now I've got a scar on my nose. I don't think that would have happened if I'd let her take the lead. I wonder how that affects my interactions with people. Lord Mortimer's Island, off the coast of England. I'm really liking the art style, like the weirdness of the people's faces. They've got so much character. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Episode one, the mad ones. Oh yes, there's five episodes as well, and I've got them all to play in one one go. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh no, we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Over business. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. <laughs> anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Yes, let's speak to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, yeah, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? What's happening? Oh, has he got something wrong? Mother? Oh shit! What Your the hand. Fuck? So? Okay, it's done. 
Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, sir. Don't! No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay me to die. Is that the future? I think I can see the future, you know. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or... or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? Mate. I absolutely need to find you, Mother. I think you've got some, uh, some third eye premonition shit going on here. Like, yeah, I'm. The game's already started, and I'm so intrigued by the, the whole atmosphere of what's going on. Like, it, it, it seems so creepy and sick. <laughs> I really like it. I really like it. Right, let's have a look about. Yeah, this is this is gonna be some. This is gonna be an awesome game. I can already tell it's gonna be good. Right, so right triggers run. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess. I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? So this is where we choose the class, is it? Now this is so strange because like I said, it's not your typical RPG. Like it's not typical putting skills in like swords or magic. It's all based on interactions and, and, and conversations. So, diplomat. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of pre Predilection. Never heard of that word. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Oh, I like the sound of that. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. I really like the sound of the occultist. I think using others to achieve his own end that does not bother him. And master of deception, that's what we're going with. We're gonna be the the one that nobody knows truly what our motives are. Alright, so that's Detective, that's Diplomat, and that's the colour. So these are my skills, but I can go into these skills, it says. It unlocks Erudition, Occultism, Subterfuge, Science and Manipulation skills. Oh, you've got seven effort points to use on your skills, okay. Get people to act in your own interest. Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography and history. 
be up to date with scientific knowledge. I think we should do that. Discreetly steal items, pick locks, and notice falsifications. Yes, please. Where, where's my skill points? Oh, up there. Right, okay. Mm, I'm not bothered about erudition. Rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as in ancient languages and secret societies. We'll go there. We've got one point in each of these, which is good. Ah, uh, erudition. Well, maybe we'll get that next time. Right, let's do it. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No. Not at all. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. I'm thinking she's uh, trying to pull the wool over her eyes. I don't trust her one bit. And she actually looks like the lass from the, the British office with Ricky Gervais. Pam, the... Um, the receptionist. She's got an uncanny striking resemblance to her. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have, it, have unlocked it. Okay, so opportunities. Hmm. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Right. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Right, okay, so we got her immunity and her vulnerability. Push that button to access your menu pages. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Riche. She's immune to logic. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Aye, she's a bit fishy like. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects they offer very sorry. And effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab on the menu. Right, I think we need to investigate this. Traits. 
You gain one skill point. Yep, yeah, we've got them. Occult Mastery. Ending an opportunity successfully will now return one effort point to you. Reach level 3 in manipulation and level 2 in occultism and subterfuges. So all these are like passives you get by just increasing your skills, that's pretty good. Handkerchief given by to you by Lady Hillsborough. The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials EH. Mortimer's invitation. Okay, we've well, got that. Archodoxes of Magic. One of the several volumes of this master of alchemy who dedicated his erudition and open mind to a better understanding of the world. And that gives an extra point in occultism. Can I use that? Nope. Right, where's the... Aha. So she's immune to logic, but we don't know what she's she's weak against. That's me. Piagi. Giuseppe. His eminence and Carl Giuseppe. Well he was there as well, wasn't he? Was he not the one in the vision as well that told us to stop? Yeah. And that is my mom. Right, come on. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. All very spooky. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. I can't carry more than five, can I not? Also, the stuff back here. Oh, not much. Now, there's nothing to pick up. Right, come on, let's go. Sir, may I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Hmm. So that's so strange. Why is she creeping around the island? Like what? What's our motive? Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Ah, so that's good. So you don't necessarily need to have a, like a level two or three to do something. You only need, I think, you might only need a level one, but it just costs you less, less effort points. Yeah, I can't do that because I haven't got whatever that is. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, 
All the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. Hmm. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Well, I want the handkerchief. Manipulation. You'll kindly give me the handkerchief. Oh, <laughs> yes. Force. Who gonna aim? Um, mind trick him? You will give me the handkerchief. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir. My orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Mate, you got manipulated to bits. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she oh, be like doing it. out here on this wharf? So she's hiding out on here somewhere. Right, let's have a look at the servant. And they're all vulnerable to manipulation. That's perfect. So if I see any more of these servants, why are they wearing the masks? It's like some creepy masonry, masonry, the masons, the Illuminati. Nice. We can pick the lock. Could have got subterfuge. Three points, like shit. Uh, there we are. Aha. Okay. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. That's the gun she had. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Great. Honey. Royal jelly. So what, that, what is that? That restores two points, doesn't it? So, like, I've used three again here, yeah, I'll get two points back. It's not too bad. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. Science. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother. And quickly, too. Hmm. Unless... If my mother's been back here, maybe she's taken the useful gunpowder for herself, then sabotaged all the other gunpowder so nobody can use it? By getting it damp? Maybe. I'm just clutching our straws here. Oh, what's this? Royal jelly. What's that? Wooden floorboard. Question where it's came uh, Excuse me, wooden plank, where did you come from? Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. Mm, can't do anything. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but 
it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. That's strange. Not right about this floorboard. Something underneath it. It's different. Ah, it might be one of her stashes. Agility locked. I'd take the floorboard out. Alright. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, it's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Alright, okay. Right, we're gonna go and find something to leave it up with. I kind of know what else it, it, it kind of, it's giving me the Monkey Island vibes. Like this guy really reminds me of Guybrush Streetwood. I wonder if they got a lot of inspiration from that game. Oh, look, I'll see something over here. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. I wonder if certain ah. Got him. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. I don't want to use this to to lever the wood. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. Yeah, it seems to me that some things have become available that weren't available before. Or am I wrong? Look. Ah, uh, maybe you have to do certain things before you're allowed to look at other some things. Rope. Apparently, no one's touched it for a good long time. See, look. I can look at this now. Lantern. Nothing special. And this, I tried to look at this earlier. Let's see hmm. what's hidden inside. The logic. Let's look. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Linguistics. Not the slightest idea what it says. Ah, that would be the diplomatic class. We'll be able to investigate that. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Probably a Dutchman. I don't think we're gonna get oh we are. Nice occultism near rings a bell. Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Ah, oh, we don't have politics. 
I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Right, so that actually went nowhere. That's pretty, it's pretty difficult. Like, if you think you've, you've only got limited resources, I'm going to have to use one of these little, um, Ah, there, use that. That'll do. Like, you've only got limited resources, really. And even though you've got certain things you can you can push forward with, like, there, I had occultism. I, I was, like, stopped at the next step. It's really interesting. Right, come on, we're going to go and um, lift up this, this wood. Break it. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. It is hers. Crying out loud. What's happened to you, Mother? Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Okay. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab on the menu. Let's look inside the bag. I had on first before that. These are our manuscripts. So at the start of each mission, it'll probably let me just select one of these, and I'll either I'll get a point in whichever one I choose. So the more books you unlock, the more. To be honest, I think it's better for you to possibly read books in a class outside of yours because it said something in the menu that the cost more somehow reduces cost in effort points I see Oh, that's at level two. Conviction. But I'm still not entirely sure how the level up system works. Food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. An iron key completely rusted. Not taking it. You never know. It might be useful. I hope but it was for the gate. Them. I bet you it was for the gate. Probably was. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? She's left it here, hadn't she? For when she's flitting about the island hiding. Hmm. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. And judging by its consistency, it's the same type of powder that I found earlier. Yeah. This just gets better and better. But is it wet powder or is it usable? Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. And the bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last... Two more days. Right. I think I'm gonna leave this. Right. That's Just enough. hit it for a reason. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. Yeah. I don't so, want to get my mother any more trouble. Let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf. 
in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even a Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatur. Nice. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Immunity, Lord Mortimer. Ah, Lord Mortimer, immune to conviction, I think it said. Oh, nice. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? So we're in the mansion now. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Confrontations. Oh my god, I love this game. I love confrontation. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of your story. So don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. I wonder if I can use that jelly during a, com a confrontation because I've only got three points left. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Hmm. I can use the. I can use it. Oh, nice! You can use it any time, so you're never locked out of using your jelly, right? So I'll, I'll leave it for now. We have no few mothers arrived yet. Let's be manipulative. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. You only knew, my son. I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. <laughs> you said you work together. What do you do exactly? I think we should use the occultism level one. Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things, and to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with Mother? It will be even more so with me. You have convinced me. The mystery with which your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto 
close to her heart. Your words seem sincere, my son. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Yes. Be, 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 be certain. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? <laughs> oh, I, I do solemnly swear. The last step, for the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Ah, okay, so. So basically, if you get through to this stage flawlessly, you've got three attempts to give the positive answer to, to win, win the confrontation. The, the more blunders you get, the less chances you have to fail at the, the more chances you have to fail at the end. Okay. Right. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God? Shit. Right, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. I need to. I don't believe in his God. I'm gonna do this. I don't think that's the right answer, but I don't believe in his God. Your Eminence, that's just not possible for me. Why is that? I've always had a Cartesian mind and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, may seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. And I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son. Nice. I shall only hear your honesty. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Vichy. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. You're most definitely going to look at it. Nice. So, my mother's trying to rescue some people that are to be executed. Very interesting. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Right, I want to have a look at this letter. Open it when I'm in my room. Okay. Can you save the game? Or does it auto... It, I think it auto saves, you know. Right, well, I'll tell you what. I think that's a good place to to call the first episode. We've got the we've got the gist of what the game's about, and I'm really really enjoying it. It's possibly one of the most interesting concepts I've I've, I've ever really seen. It's like along the it's, to be honest, it's along the the same lines as the Telltale games, where your choices affect 
outcomes and the decisions you make do affect the story, except in this. Yeah, the role playing elements, the skills of the class you pick, like determines on which route you're even, even allowed to go down. The last set of actions on that confrontation absolutely demolished or I want to call it stamina bar but it's called something else it's called the effort points so at the moment we've got zero effort points so I'm gonna to have to eat so I want to eat both of these intoxicated you've used four consumable items during a single quest or consumed a noxious element Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Huh. Okay. So those jellies are toxic. Well, we didn't know that, but now we do. Well, it looks like we're just going to have to be quick when we in any dialogue choice. I wonder how, how else do you fill your... Is there a help? How do you fill your... Okay, we got a free point in agility by doing that. So effort points pool increased by one. Use exactly one consumable of each type during a quest. Huh. That's pretty hard. I don't even know what consumables there are. Use no consumable during a quest. Damn. Uncover all of Jonathan Von Wolner's immunities and vulnerabilities. Right, these are pretty difficult. We need five manuscripts. Fail two confrontation tactless. Using manipulation costs you one extra effort point, but you gain one skill point in linguistics. That they roll for failing. Succeed, succeed. We're doing. We're still doing pretty well. Right. So where are we going? Let's speak to these guys over here. Or should we examine places first? Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Hmm. Should I do this? One point. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then... Covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. That didn't actually cost us a point. Was there a reason why that didn't cost us a point? I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet, and you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Small children. Right. My mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. 
His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. How well do you know my mother? Oh, look at this. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. Mm. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Can he be trusted, though? Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, who would that he be? shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. I'm going to... Hmm... Stay and listen to Washington because I think we might be able to find out something more. Whereas if I go with him, they they're gonna be a closed book because they they're strangers. Let's see what Washington has to say, sir. If you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily Jeez, is from the Eve's English problem. branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Let's go on. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. 
And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tag down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia, 15 years ago. Bloody hell. Sarah often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information. Thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Yeah, I don't trust any of these people. Not at all. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Hmm. Shit. When the time limit is over and answer is automatically selected, check the dialogue timer at the bottom of the screen, okay. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Right, luckily. It didn't matter by the looks of things about that opportunity because the skills that were required I didn't have anyway, so that's fine. But one thing I have learned is that whenever you find an opportunity like that, there's Ladies, always two options. Gentlemen, I bid Click them both as fast night. as you can. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends. I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. 
See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. Oh. It's been quite a day. Right. I think. Where is my room? I think this is my room. <laughs> Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Yes, let's 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 go in here. Before I go to my room, I'm gonna do some investigating. What can we find? I'd like to go. Oh, what's this? Collector coins. And where would they be? No, I haven't found anything on him. Yeah, we've probably missed a couple of these. Elizabeth Adams. I thought that was a boy. The daughter of John Adams, Vice President of the United States. Right, okay. There's a lot of high-end folks in this meeting. It's almost like the cream of the crop they're planning on taking over the world. So Jacques Peru. Jacques Peru. Can we wake everybody up? I want to go to the foot hall. Let's see what's there. Few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Golden elixir cures all of your negative alterations. You cannot carry more than five. So I don't really feel I need that. Actually, I want to keep that for a later mission, hopefully, because I can't see me having too many more speech checks here. Well, to be honest, it only stops you seeing the the timer bar, which the quorum guide. Not too bothered. More books. This place is huge. Let's go down here first. Oh my god. Oh, if it's got a line, it means you can't go in there. Fair enough. That's good. Yeah, banned. Monsieur Johann van Wunder. And where are we now? Oh, we found something. This is Thursday. More collector coins. Oh, we're not allowed that back downstairs. I love the, like, it's so well designed, the interiors. Look, look, man, it's even got paintings on the ceiling. Bloody incredible. More coins. Oh, what was that? Nope, nothing. Oh, hey. I'm all about these collector coins, like. I hope, they, hope, hopefully, they actually give us something good. I doubt it, though. President George Washington. George Washington. I found more royal jelly. This my room, it's gotta be.
Which one's my room? Huh, that's me. That's me. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Go on, let's go in. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Unfortunately. Oh, look at this. Open the letter without breaking the seal. Let's be a sneaky little sneakster. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. I am. Um, I'm sorry, but would you really want to be sleeping in a room with that bloody painting? That's some sick shit, that like. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. What the hell is this? I'm Peter Felix shit. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Yeah, this building's certainly in a quiet taste. Golden elixir. Nice. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Oh, hey. Oh, we haven't got it. We cannot reach it. Looks like a collector's coin, possibly. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. And I think that's it for this room. Can we go outside? We actually can. We're not going to go outside yet. Was he actually going to bed? Mate, man, I want to investigate outside. What are you doing? Mate, this is where you get murdered in your sleep. So I didn't feel anything, which is good. Off the, co off the coast of England. I went up to the manor, I pieced together with my mother's movements, went on the old docks. I convinced Piaggi to trust me, I met Mr. Washington, I remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Washington, I found a strange book on the quay, and asked questions about my mother. I could have joined Sir Home in the small salon, but I didn't, and I could have made an unexpected encounter. Right. So, got quite a bit of XP, one again, one level though. What should we go with? I think subterfuge is really good. Hmm. I would like to get one point in agility. Oh, 
I've already got one point in agility. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Huh. Politics. Ah, uh, I'm not really interested in that. Diversion. Or should I put it in? I think. I think we should really get something up the fall. Oh, if you get that to max, the skill use is free. I want to do that. I think it's best if we do get these two to greatly reduced points oh that's what happens man because I'm this skill tree it reduces the cost of effort points but these skill trees don't you just get the benefits of unlocking the dialogue but it still costs you maximum Maximum points. Okay. Makes sense. I think we should put one point in here. So we've got all bases, so we've got that max manipulation we can use whenever we want. And it's produced by three points, which is really going to help us with our, our stamina effort bar. Right, let's go with that. Equipment manuscripts. Here you can choose what to read during an ad the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. Etiquette. Huh. Right, okay. We've got, we've got to get all three of them to do that. That's amazing. Gives you a point in everything. Science. Cultism. I think I want to do this. Occultism. Yep, let's do that. And that's it. So next is going on to the next quest. So now I kind of realise how the, the quests are put together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Yeah, we'll call it there. In the next video what we'll do is we'll do the videos just by episodes. Okay lads. It's been very interesting. See you in the next one.